My name is Marianne Keith, and I am the program director and tenured faculty for the Administrative Medical Assistant and the Certified Medical Assistant program at Bates. My Administrative Medical Assistant program, better known as AMA, uh, are taught the uh, front office uh, and administrative component of medical assisting. Well, the wonderful thing about our administrative medical assistant program is you don't necessarily need any prerequisites. You can get all of your math, English, and uh, humanities credits during the program. They work on building their uh, skills uh, with taking vitals, uh, so they do a lot of hands-on skills, a lot of invasive skills, and then communication and um, just their basic knowledge of being a healthcare professional. Our students have, we have some great contacts in industry, and one of the most common job titles is a patient access rep, or PAR for short. Um, it's also commonly known as a medical receptionist. And then we also have medical billers and coders all the way up to uh, clinic administrators from our program. So we just recently partnered with Pulse Heart Institute and how that works is the students then apply to become a potential candidate and then once they are ready to go out into their practicum then they go and do their practicum with Pulse Heart and then have that opportunity to be hired immediately after once they have taken their national certification. They range, it's a pretty large range because many of our students come in with a great deal of customer service, business backgrounds, some allied health backgrounds. So they can range anywhere from $17 an hour to about $22 an hour. Um, although I must say that nowadays they are getting sign-on bonuses. So right now I believe that the salary is anywhere from 20-ish to $22 an hour along with sign-on bonuses depending on where they go. They have significant sign-on bonuses right now because of the need for certified medical assistance. My advice is to just go for it because Marianne and myself are really involved with our students and we really are there to help support in any way that we can and we're, we love to encourage any student that feels as though they're a little bit intimidated by going into the medical field and they have all the help and staff that they need to help them be successful at the end. My name is Andrew Min. I'm the Occupational Therapy Assistant Instructor at the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program here at Bates. An occupational therapy assistant works under the supervision of an occupational therapist, and so we help in uh, the treatment planning, design, and implementation of interventions for patients that have had life-changing disabilities or circumstances and help them achieve the greatest amount of independence. Our students work on a variety of projects um, that, help to, that help them to better understand what occupations are. A lot of people don't typically understand what an occupational therapist does, a lot of time we get confused with physical therapists and so occupations are the things that take up our day-to-day -day lives, the activities we do on a regular basis that have meaning to us and so our students will take on projects that help them to better understand what occupations are and how to analyze those occupations so that um, individuals across the lifespan can, can participate most fully in those chosen occupations. Uh, my name is Kat and I'm in the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program here at Bates Tech. I enrolled in this program because I was interested in helping people in the medical field in a way that impacts their daily life, um, so things that are less acute and more important to them in the day to day. So one of the benefits of the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program at Bates is our shift to a hybrid model since COVID, so it allows students to learn virtually while still coming in to learn those hands-on skills that they need to be successful when they go out into the field. Another benefit of the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program is our collaboration with the University of Puget Sound. So uh, Occupational Therapy Assistants work under the supervision of an Occupational Therapist and more than just learning about that from a textbook or a lecture setting, they're able to go to the University of Puget Sound at the on-site clinic and, and really live the experience for themselves. One other highlight from our Occupational Therapy Assistant program is our involvement in CARFIT, 
which is a collaboration with AAA, AARP, and the American Occupational Therapy Association. So the purpose of CarFit is to help older adults find the best fit in their vehicles. And so this is a way that allows students to serve the communities even while in school, and it's a skill they can take forward with them to continue serving their communities even as graduates. Technically two year program or 16 month program and I didn't think that I could be in a career that I feel so good about in that short amount of time. So that was really exciting for me. So my name is Bob Hayes and I teach dental lab technology at Bates Technical College and I'm a CDT which means a certified dental technician. Students learn all about the different devices and the different uh, work practices in making devices so they get to actually make crowns and bridges and dentures and partials. Um, it's a two-year program and it's uh, it's not physically grueling, but you do get your hands dirty. You, you actually make devices, and you grind on dentures, you grind on crowns, and you have to adjust them and, and create them and shape them. Uh, my name is Kayla, and I am enrolled in the Dental Lab Technology Program, and I'm in my sixth term. Um, I decided to enroll because I wanted to do something artistic, um, and I had always been interested in the health field, um, and finding something that could mesh those two together is kind of difficult, so when I found the dental lab program, I was thrilled. Uh, in a small lab, uh, a, a less experienced technician, so, so in your first five years, you're going to make in that 47,000 range. And uh, more experience is going gonna, is gonna, to, depending upon the size of the lab, you're going to be making between 73 and 95,000. Dental lab is all behind the scenes. You don't really deal with the patient um, ever, um, if you know, hardly ever. Um, and you're dealing directly with the dentist. So it's nice to be kind of behind the scenes and being able to do your craft and still give people beautiful smiles while kind of staying in you know, the background. You get to leave every day and look back at your bench and see these beautiful works of art that you've created that are gonna change people's lives. It's wonderful. No, no starving artists in the dental lab industry. My name is Terry Amundsen and I'm a dental assisting instructor at Bates Technical College. Uh, our program is 11 months long. It's a uh, CODA accredited, so Commission on Dental Accreditation uh, accredited program that learns how to actually work with the dentist chair side. So we're the ones that sit with the dentist uh, when you're having a filling, when you're having an extraction, um, those kind of things. So they learn the basics of infection control um, all the way up to every procedure, uh, surgery, orthodontics, uh, general fillings, working with children, um, adults, you name it, we do it. Industry demand is so high right now. Uh, dental assistants that get into the program, um, they have a job when they leave. Uh, I have more phone calls from dentists wanting assistance than um, there are assistants out there. So excellent job opportunities, excellent growth for dental assistants. Uh, Rachel Williams and I'm in the dental assisting program. I've always had an interest in dental assisting and it also helped that my dentist was really good about just good chairside manners um, and I don't know I just I really liked the concept of it. Working in a clinical facility uh, is critical to the students learning environment. Our program has one full quarter that is a clinical internship. So whether it be at the clinic at Bates or whether it be outside private practices, um, all students visit two offices and they work full time there for a full quarter to get that hands-on experience that they need. If I were a high school student looking at my career choice, I would number one look at demand and healthcare is high demand right now and it has been for a long time.